Hello listeners, my name is Bartina Jayawardana and in this opportunity I would like to present our paper that name gas fuel mixing to reduce elemental sulfur formations on gas circulating and mapping stations in Makatarang steam power plant. And this is the outline from our paper. First is introduction, second is methodology, third is result and discussion, and the last is conclusion. For the introduction, we have three gas suppliers, uh, PHE, NR, and PGN, that can supply to Block 1 and Block 2 for combined cycle power plant, and PLTU45 for steam power plant. Uh, PHE and PGN is pipe gas. Uh, it's sourced from gas field in offshore Northwest Java and corridor gas block in uh, West Java and South Sumatra respectively. And the NR uh, source from LNG that sent from Bontang or Tanggu. And then in our gas metering and regulating station, we have a control reducing valve or CRV to reduce pressure from 24 kilogram per centimeter square to 4 kilogram per centimeter square. And the CRV in 2019, it makes uh, 5,800 megawatt hour losses because contrary to the follow-up inspection in March 30th and August 31st. Uh, what happened with our contrary to the follow-up? You can see that in this picture, there are elemental sulfur formation inside the strainer that clog the uh, gas from supplier to our burner it will result in losses for output for our steam turbine. And then the elemental sulfur formation has three hypotheses how it occur. First is chemical reaction, second is condensation, and third is desublimation. The three hypotheses can occur in the same time simultaneously. And then this is our calculation, how we calculate the percentage small mix for three different sources. Uh, and when we mix our gas, we should abide our contract for every gas supplier because they have minimum take or pay or maximum uh, gas that can we absorb. And then this is the gas composition in 2016 until 2019. You can see in 2018 and 2019, we have new gas supplier called PGN. And they will reduce the consumption for NR and PHI. And this is the quality from every gas supplier. You can see that NR is the best quality because it has methane percentage more than 90% because it is the LNG. So it usually has a cleaner and better gas composition. Meanwhile, the PGN and PHI is a pipe gas. So it source directly from uh, gas field. And then this is our first study. Data from May 2019 when NR0 flow because it has inspection. Uh, you can see that in third month, the CFV reducing gas opening is already 100% more. This means the CFV is already full open, but it can supply adequate gas to the burner 
that result in uh, derating in our unit four or unit five. This is second case from July 2019 where PGN and PH I maximize. You can see that NR is 23% and most of the gas supply to unit four is from PGN, roughly 52%. In third month, it's already reached the almost full op fully open in 98%. This means in the th fourth month, we should inspect and clean the CRV to increase the power output from our steam turbine. And we optimize gas mix. Uh, we increase the NR consumption until 51%. And then we can see in fifth month, the CFV reducing gas opening is full open. This means uh, we only need two times of inspection for uh, this strategy, then three until four times inspection for uh, before strategy. And this is before optimized gas mix applied. Uh, we need four times cleaning uh, total in one year is 23.4 billion rupiah in loss of production from unit four and the startup cost is 736.6 million rupiah and then when uh, optimized gas mix gas mixing applied, you can see that we spend 11.7 billion rupiah, uh, almost half before the optimized gas mixing applied. And then the startup pass, we only need uh, once because uh, after, after this inspection, we haven't uh, inspect unit four again until it needs overhaul. You can see that we can save almost fifty percent from cost for after optimized gas mixing applied. And then the conclusion is the gas fuel mixing strategy implemented in block four five can I choose elemental sulfur formation without any investment being made and saves up to 11.7 billion rupiah. Okay, thanks for listening.